Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum and they've actually released the validator launchpad and staking for their final testnet. Not the mainnet, but the testnet. The mainnet, the earliest day for the mainnet could be November. The testnet is going to be August 4th. So developers released the validator launchpad for Ethereum 2.0 on July 27th, allowing users to participate in the testnet's proof of stake. With the Ethereum 2.0 final testnet set to be released on August 4th, developers have now opened the doors to validators. According to a July 27th Ethereum blog, the research team behind Ethereum 2.0 has announced the release of the validator launchpad for the multi-client testnet Medalla. So they're going to have the multi-client testnet for Ethereum 2.0 phase 0. Um, and it's going to be open to validators and now they can actually, you know, kind of try the proof of stake. The launchpad is part of the testnet launch stage prior to phase zero in which the network will move towards proof of stake. We're releasing it now so you can keep track of and make deposits into the upcoming Medalla multi-client testnet that blog stated. But we'll continue to fine tune the interface and a run up to the mainnet launch. I wonder if it's going to work like Cardano's where the rewards on the testnet will transfer over to the mainnet. The next phase will track participants and their balances to help validate the testnet. Users need to put up a minimum of 32 Ethereum. So if you want to take part of the testnet, you have to have 32 Ethereum uh, stake to run a validating node. Ethereum 2.0 coordinator Danny Ryan has said that Medalla will only start if at least 16,384 validators commit uh, at least 524,000 Ethereum. So they're talking about out of the six, out of like the 100 million, they only need 500,000. That really shouldn't be that much of a problem. If not reached by August 2nd, the testnet will launch 48 hours after that milestone. So it will start, um, but they ho they're hoping they get it by April, August 2nd. My guess is since there's so many Ethereum out there and they only want 500,000, it'll reach it by August 2nd and they'll actually be able to start it after that. It would be kind of a disappointment if they didn't. Trustnodes reported today that more than 150,000 Ethereum in deposits has been made. Yeah, or already. Meaning that the testnet was, has roughly 30.5% of the validators it needs to be ready for the launch next week. So that is actually why Ethereum uh, has been actually surging lately. We know that the testnet was close, but now that they're actually opening um, the, the, the testnet for staking up to, validator, uh, to validators, uh, that will actually make excitement go even higher. Uh, right now, like today, Ethereum hasn't really grown with Bitcoin, but it's actually held its price. Since Ethereum's already pumped a lot, I'm actually not uh, surprised by the fact that it didn't like go crazy day and it's actually fallen a bit back down to about 310 but it is still above 300 right now and uh this could possibly push it higher although we might have gotten like the phase zero pump already and now people are waiting to actually see um how the staking actually works on the mainnet so i'm pretty sure by august 2nd they'll actually reach the 524,488 uh, ethereum needed and the the testnet will actually start august 4th and then mainnet will, might roll out in November if there are no problems. If there are problems, uh, it might actually be next year. So Metallic actually thinks November. Some of the deve developers think next year. Some of the developers think November as well. So um, that's the thing with Ethereum. So they've actually released it so we can keep track and make deposits into it. And But if you want to take part in the um, testnet validation staking, you actually need 32 Ethereum. I don't think you can actually pool together. At least I don't think you can. I haven't really heard of any of those pools. Maybe I'm wrong. If you know a pool, just put it in the comments. But right now you need a minimum of 32 Ethereum to actually run a validating node to participate in the testnet staking. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.